So right here I have a stack of five packages that contain seven of my CDs that people actually paid for, and now I'm gonna ship them to them. So in this video, I wanna talk about essentially the whole process that goes behind doing something like this. So why would you even consider doing CDs in the first place? What are some companies you can order your CDs from? What are the files and how do you actually order these things? What do you need to send to the disc manufacturers? And then an overview of the, the sales process I'm using to sell these CDs. Now in particular, I have two different CDs that I've made. One for my album that's coming out next Friday, Double Think, which there is a link in the description if any of you are interested in, in grabbing it. Um, and then there's also this one that I did about two years ago and two different manufacturers, two different style packages. So I'll go over the pricing and, and how that worked in a sec. But first, let's talk about why you would even consider doing CDs. Like, you would think in 2022 CDs are good. Everyone's using Spotify, everyone's using Apple Music. And that's true for most people. Most people do just stream music. I mostly just stream music and that's totally cool. But there's still a lot of people who like having CDs. And I've even bought some albums of bands that I love just to, just to have something physical and support the band. So even aside from the practicality or, or like so if someone actually using a CD, um, people like collector's items, right? That's why NFTs exist, right? There's no practical use for them. Um, and so CDs are a physical representation of that that people can also play because some people actually do listen to music like that. So I want to bring up a really cool stat that I think summarizes why you would even consider doing this. So if I share my screen here, um, this is a news article that I found from Variety, but the stats from RIAA, which is like one of the big recording, I forget what it stands for, but you can look it up. U.S. recorded music revenues 2021. So streaming, obviously a massive portion of this. But physical is actually 11% of the recorded music industry in 2021. More than double digital downloads. In fact, it's almost digital, almost almost double the combination of digital downloads and sync licensing, which is crazy, right? And, and in particular, in terms of what the numbers were, in 2021, there were 41 million CDs sold, 40.6 million actually, and almost 42 million vinyl sold. So vinyl and CDs are both selling roughly 41, 42 million copies as of 2021. And last year was actually the first year that CD sales increased year over year since 2004. So it's not like this huge portion of the music industry, but it makes like, oh, I think I saw a number somewhere online that it makes like over a billion dollars a year. I don't remember if that was US only or worldwide, but it's a big thing. So now I want to go over these two different CDs that I made because I use two different companies. So in this CD, this is a jacket format. So basically you just like you squeeze it and the CD just kind of falls out. There's no inner packaging at all. It's just this jacket. This costs two dollars and nine cents and it came from Disc Makers, which is a pretty big CD manufacturer. I believe they're in the United States. I might be wrong. Um, and yeah, now this one, Double Think, the new one, this is a wallet. So it actually opens up and there's inside artwork. And this was actually cheaper, a dollar and eighty-nine cents, and it came from Atomic Disc. And I wanted to try them out because they're they seem to be smaller. They're in the United States as well, and um, they were cheaper, right? And it's also the packaging is actually more sophisticated than the one I got, and it comes in a resealable like cellophane thing, whereas this is a shrink wrap. So I'm selling these CDs. Oh, I dropped it. I'm selling these CDs as signed. And so to sign this one, I just open up the packaging, take it out, sign it, put it back in. This one, I can't because it's shrink wrap. Once I take off the shrink wrap, the shrink wrap is ruined. So that's kind of an inconvenience. I don't know if Disc Makers has an option for that. They charge extra for it. Um, but also with Disc Makers, you can't sign the packaging. It's like too glossy. And again, don't know if they have an option for matte finish. But if we sign this with a Sharpie, it just kind of falls off. It doesn't stick. Whereas this, it's you can sign the actual packaging. So what I did for signed copies of this, I signed the actual CD instead. This one, I, I actually designed the packaging because inside of this, I have a QR code that people can scan, takes them to a private website where they get some free content. So it's almost like this is like a ticket to an online vault of free content. Um, but under that thing, I left some empty space where I could personally address and say like, you know, hey, so-and-so, thanks so much for supporting my music. And then I sign it. So I left like a actual place that I could sign, which I really like. So let's take a look at Atomic Disk because both of these CDs, they, they're physically, they were made Great, both these companies do great work. But I'll go through Atomic Disk real quick, just so you kind of have an idea of how this process works. So in their products and services section, by the way, not a sponsor, not an affiliate. I'm not getting anything from this, although Atomic Disk hit me up if you want to do something like that. Um, but they have a bunch of different formats. So in this case, I use the Wallet Lite, but they also do jackets, which are even cheaper. 
They also do eco packs, which are apparently are also cheaper. And they also have a bunch of other more advanced formats. So I used Wallet Lights and I ordered it as a pack of 100. <clears throat> and the cool thing is the shipping, for me at least in the United States, was free. I don't know what the cost threshold is for that, but it was free. Whereas with uh, disc makers, the CDs themselves for 100, I think were $175, but they charged me $30 shipping and that was like the economy option. So I don't know if there was a way I could have gotten free shipping with disc makers, it was two years ago. Um, but it seems like Atomic Disc is slightly more affordable. So you get to pick a bunch of options. You can add an insert, which is like a, like a piece of cardboard stock paper that you can insert, add your own graphics on. So if you wanna put some cool artwork on it, you can design that and put that in. They do have mastering services if you need it. And they also have graphic design services because we're gonna cover that next. How do you actually make the, the packaging for these CDs? It took me a while, um, but you can just have them do it. And then they can also add a barcode, which you don't really need um, unless your thing's gonna be physical. I just, I've thrown them on both because they don't cost anything. They're free barcodes. Um, so if for some reason I was selling them at a physical place, there would be a barcode for them to scan. And then you name your, your project and you can do a, a reorder. So that's the general process. And after you do this, you upload your file. So now let's talk about the actual files that you need. So in general, there's two different assets that you would deliver to your CD manufacturer, whoever it is. There's gonna be the audio files and there's gonna be the artwork files. The audio files are pretty self-explanatory. They need to be 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz audio files. Uh, some services might convert the files for you. So if you have like a 24-bit file or you have a 48 kilohertz file, they might convert it for you. But the best case is to deliver 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Apparently, if you don't deliver them in this format and they don't convert them, there could be glitches and pops when your, your CD is played in certain uh, CD players. So it's good to just make sure you, you com you're compatible with everything you can be um, and just re-render those files or dither them or whatever to convert them to the correct format so that you don't have any issues. So that's the audio files. Very self-explanatory, probably use the highest quality waves you can get. They'll give you your own manufacturing standard, whatever company, they'll tell you exactly the files you can deliver. Similarly, um, Atomic Disk provide, and also see uh, Disk Makers, provides templates for various softwares. So in my case, they provided one for both Photoshop and Illustrator, and I think they provided just like a PDF if you have something different, but I use the Photoshop template. And so essentially, this is how you lay out your CD. Now I do wanna point out that I, I have hidden some stuff on here. So like down here, I had a QR code. Um, if I put that there, you could just scan it and I wanna keep this special just to the people who buy the CD. So if you want it, <laughs> links in the description. I also have some text here, but again, I wanted this text to be special. So th this whole thing's filled out with text in the actual CD, but I want to keep it special for people who get the CD. So what you do, you know, this is the wallet light format. So they, they show you up here that this is the front cover. This is where it gets folded this is the back and this is the inside right and let me actually open up a cd so you can see that so you, you can see there there's the front and the back and that's what these are and then this inside right portion gets folded over here and that's what actually and i don't want to flip this over because you'll see the qr code but that gets folded over and then basically it's one sheet of paper it's get folded and glued and stuff so that's that's how this cd format works um, and then you basically design the opposite face so i already had my artwork which was this, this is what's actually getting distributed to like Spotify, Apple Music. But then I had to design all this other stuff, right? Like these are all, this is like a text thing. This is my logo, this is a text thing. I had to pick all the colors. I had to get this little like website copyright symbol. Um, but all these other like lines and stuff, this is them telling you how you lay out your artwork. So like they're telling you where, you're, where they're gonna cut. This yellow or this pink dash line is where they're gonna cut. Um, or sorry, the green ones we're gonna cut the pink is like the bleed line where they want your artwork to go there. And then this is like the safety region. So like make sure all important elements are in there because cutting and folding is not perfect. So that's why there's all these margins for error. Um, and yeah, so you just lay it out. I put some special stuff I've, inside. So if someone like looks inside where the CD was, they'll see like a little message that says, I love you. And then there's these artwork files that are also inside those things. So, you know, you can get a little fun with this stuff and, and think about let's adding little Easter eggs if you wanted to. And that's where the idea of the QR code came. And if you just look up online QR code generator, you can find out how to generate your own QR codes. It's entirely free. You don't need to pay for anything. Um, there are ones you can pay for though, if you want more sophisticated functionality. Now, similarly, you'll get a template 
either Atomic Disk or Disk Makers or anyone else will give you a template for the CD as well. So basically it's a similar thing. You just slap your artwork on it and you, you can just lay out how you want your CD to look. You can put whatever you want on it basically. So the biggest rule of thumb, whoever you use, just make sure you fall, like they'll tell you exactly we want this, this, and this. Here are some asset files for you to go make these artwork things and send them to us. They have to be in this format. They have to be this. Make sure you follow the rules exactly to avoid any issues. Atomic Disk, uh, the way it worked is I sent these in. They gave me back a proof with my file saying like, hey, this is what it's going to be. Double check this. And there was something wrong initially. And the cool thing with them is I just called them on the phone and I got, I got in contact with the actual graphic designer that prepared my file. And I was able to talk to him and say like, hey, why does this look like this? And he explained to me and he was like, oh yeah, it should be fine. Don't worry about that. Order them. They were totally fine. So he was right. Um, cool thing. I don't know if Disc Makers has that, but Atomic Disc was nice to get like a real human on the phone nowadays when so many companies don't, don't have that. So now I want to talk about how I'm actually selling these CDs. Now in terms of the marketing side, there's social media posts, there's messaging my email list, and then there's also Facebook ads. But the actual place that I'm selling these is a landing page. And I'm, I built this on Thrivecart. This, I do have an affiliate link if you want to want to see Thrivecart, um, it's in the description. And this is what I use to sell all my courses. And so it's kind of an expensive software, but the nice thing with this compared to something like ClickFunnels, is ClickFunnels cost 100 a month for the minimum plan. Thrivecart's like 700-ish for a lifetime plan. So ClickFunnels, 100 a month, Thrivecart, 700 lifetime. So I've been using this for like two years now. So I've saved a lot of money by using this instead of ClickFunnels. Um, but you can set up some sophisticated funnels with this. So you can see here, I just got a, uh, this was actually just a fake picture because I didn't have the physicals when I made this. I should probably swap it out. And I'm just telling people like, hey, this CD is regular 15 bucks. You can get it for free. It's a pre-order. I'd love to send you a signed physical copy for free. And the way that this works is it's a pay what you want offer. So they can put literally zero dollars in here and I'm just charging for shipping and handling. So this is what's called a free plus shipping and handling offer. You've probably seen them on television. Get now free plus shipping and handling and the shipping and handling is like $19. Um, that's kind of how this works, except shipping, shipping and handling, I kept it reasonable. It's only $5.95, which is a pretty normal USA shipping cost. If someone from Canada buys it, it's slightly more expensive. Outside of those two countries, it gets way more expensive. Um, but it's $5.95 in the US. And these CDs, I've already told you, like roughly $2, right? Shipping in the US from, from Massachusetts, even all the way to California, is like three like three dollars and seventy cents or something most cases the shipping ends up being three dollars and forty cents so if someone buys this i break even maybe i make 50 cents that kind of thing however that's not, the goal isn't to like make money with the cd itself the goal is to make money with everything around the cd and on one hand you have a person that paid money to get your cd so that's cool in itself but a lot of people in fact i think out of out of this stack of five people four of them gave me extra money. So uh, two of them gave me $5, one gave me 10 and one gave me 15 extra off of this. So people are willing to like pay more than $0 just out of the, because they feel like it should be worth something more than $0, which is really cool. Um, another thing is that some people get the digital downloads because on my store, I've listed them as $10 to get the digital downloads. So here I'm selling them for five bucks. So if people add this, now their cart value is 10.95. If they throw five bucks in there, now it's 15.95. So I'm gone from breaking even to profiting by $10. And so at this point, they enter their contact information, their shipping information, and their payment information. And then they get taken to another place that I'll show you. So this is what the back end of Thrivecart looks like in the, the sales funnel builder portion. But basically when someone buys that CD, they're gonna be taken to one click upsells. So if I open this, this second one up, launch upsell editor, this is essentially where they're taking to. Limited time offer, want me to ship a signed copy of my album, Dreams Don't Die, which is this guy, with your order. No extra shipping, it's just included. You also get the digital download. So it, it's a discount and it's just included in the cost of shipping. And I say regular 22 because on my website, I list the CD at 12 and the digital downloads for 10. So it's like more than a 50% off discount from where you could buy it elsewhere. And then um, this shipping address doesn't show up because they already entered it. So basically the only thing that shows up is this text, this, and then they just click yes, upgrade or no. And then it just automatically adds that to their order because they already entered in their credit card or their PayPal information. So it just adds that money to their order. And now we've gone from uh, a 15, 
a ten dollar profit to a eight dollar profit some or sorry uh eighteen dollar profit because this is an extra 10 cd cost about two so it's an extra eight bucks so um we've gone to eighteen dollars of, of roughly of, of profit and after this point they get taken to another upsell and i could add five upsells with downsells but that's like i don't want someone to hate me in the first order they ever place with me so i just do two and this one um i might change this one because I don't think it's as compelling, but one last thing, I have these wristbands, which I, these you can make for like nothing. Like these cost like 50 cents or something per thing if you order like a couple hundred of them. Um, and so I spent like 150 bucks and ordered some wristbands two years ago and <laughs> I never did anything with them. Um, and I also made these guitar pick keychains and I'll put links to all the manufacturers in the description so you can see where to get these. These guitar picks, I was gl very glad I did because I, it's really cool. Like every time I play guitar, I'm using my own branded guitar picks and you can have them punch holes in them and then you buy these little keychain rings. So here I'm just saying, I'll give you two wristbands, two guitar pick keychains for seven bucks on my website, they normally be 15. Same deal, they just click this button and that adds like an extra $5 of profit margin to the whole funnel. Stop growing. So obviously there's a whole lot of other details and behind the scenes stuff that, that goes on into building all of these elements. So if you want to see more about this, make sure to subscribe because and let me know in the comments what aspect you want to see. So I'll probably be covering some of this stuff uh, in the future, especially when it comes to Facebook ads. Because on this channel, I have a lot of videos using Facebook ads to promote your music. And you can check out this playlist right here where you can watch a whole bunch. Specifically, a lot of them are sending people from Facebook or Instagram ads to Spotify and streaming platforms, but a lot of those techniques actually are very similar to what I've been using to run these CDs and grow my email list. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.